Hey there. I said, hey there. How you doing? A Sunday ride in the rain. Hey there. If you've watched any of my videos, you probably know I love long distance rides. But of course you can't always be off riding all day or for several days. Life and work and that sort of thing gets in the way. So I thought I might show you some of our fairly close rides. So we're off for a Sunday ride today. I got Mrs. Volknik with me. Otherwise known as Trish the Dish, my much better half. G'day mate. Thank you. Right, tank full of dinosaur juice. Only a hanky in there. And other precious things. <laughs> Come on Trish, get with the program. Haven't you ever heard of pocket billiards? <laughs> You're obviously not a bloke, eh? <laughs> motorway here at Rama Rama and head left to Alarimu. Tell me what you think of these, or what do you call them, wire barriers on motorways. Do you guys have them in your countries? I think they're bloody awful. You hit them at speed, they're just, uh, we call them cheese cutters here. Some boys out for a ride. So we're basically 30 minutes from downtown Auckland and we're on the edge of the Hunua Ranges right in front of us and out to our right hand side what they call the Bombay Hills which mark the southern boundary of the Auckland region. So we're not far from home, some lovely lovely roads here, get a bit of traffic because we're quite close to Auckland and Auckland is the biggest city in the country. Had a lot of rain over the last couple of days and they reckon it's going to persist down this afternoon and uh, we'll probably end up with a coffee somewhere. But don't forget it's me who put you where you are now And I can put you back down too And have any eagles in New Zealand? We have quite a few hawks. There's no eagles, but there is uh, an eagle lives in this area somewhere and he's got a YouTube channel called Eagle and NZ. Check him out. Better place, either with or without you. 
village of Hunua. Takes its name from the Hunua Ranges. Which uh, basically are all around here. Lovely little country town. And only, I don't know, 45 minutes out of Auckland City. We're sitting here at Maraitai Beach. Me and Mrs. Vognet, Trish the Dish, my much better half. Smile for the camera, Shirley. <laughs> the camera's facing my tummy. It's a wide angle camera, it's gonna, oh, it can right? see everything. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and the, and the, uh, the seagull down here looking for some scraps. We ain't got no scraps, seagull. You might as well bugger off. Right Eye Beach, and it's late autumn, so it's not the best for swimming. No swimmers on the shores of the Waitamata Harbour. And that's Waiheke Island out in the distance here. Nice Sunday afternoon. How you doing? So we're just grabbing a couple of hours, some time together, have a bit of a ride. So we go home and take the daughter out. Uh, and then we've got to go and take Miss Vognet out. She... Miss Vognet? <laughs> <laughs> I say she's sport when she's at home doing the housework. Yeah, but we're pay, paying a good money to do the housework. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's not like she's Cinderella or something. We're waiting for our coffee across the road there in the cafe. A young man said to me, is that your motor guzzy out there? And of course, I get the cheesy grin. <laughs> oh yeah, that's my motor guzzy out there. He says, oh, nice bike, lovely, blah, blah, blah. And so we're chatting about bikes and he... He came up with a statement that I just absolutely love. The Italians. The Italians are pretty good at the, the, at the design of things. Oh, an MT-03 and a Beamer. Yes. The man said, Italians are pretty good at design. They can even make a motor guzzy look good. And I just about wet myself laughing. And of course, <laughs> of course I... I then had to ask him, well, what do you ride? Tell me what you ride. And he admitted in the end, a Ducati. So there you go. Of course, he rides a Ducati. <laughs> oh, there's some lovely bikes out today. Not as many pillions. Back on the guzzy. Got two brand new tyres. And it is disgustingly dirty. Well, you look how dirty that is. Still, when I've got Mrs. Vognet on, it makes the whole thing look better. 